Welcome back, everyone, to Marcus Trutt, Road to Glory, here on NCAA Football 14. As if you did not watch the last episode, that was the signing day episode. It was very hilarious, and it was only about four minutes long. As look at the top 25, the number one team in the top 25 is Heisman. Logic. Anywho, if you, did, if you already watched the signing day episode, then you probably know where we're going. And if not, I'll give you five seconds to click on it. Alright, that's enough time. We are going to the University of Miami. Uh, I never realized how easy it was to be a first string, because we're getting first string offers from big schools like Clemson, who gave us a scholarship, Michigan, LSU. Michigan and LSU didn't give us scholarships, but we would be the first string on their team, which is pretty incredible. But we are going to be going to Miami, and we get to start day one. So, jersey number, our number eight, which we wore in high school, is not available. Someone else took it. So we'll be wearing number 10 instead. Our official spark rating is 105.00. We are driving to school. Are you sure we're not going to get in a car accident? Are you sure? Getting settled on campus. He's going to get. He's going to be the bully freshman who gets to start at quarterback. We have 14,000 XP. That is a lot. Uh, we are a 84 overall already. That is crazy. So, uh, these suicide drills look pretty good. Even though, um, suicide isn't the greatest of words, I think I might get it. I don't like these one game ones just because I don't get to keep them forever. So I'm going to get read and react and suicide drills. Boom. We are now an 87 overall before we made our professional debut. That is honestly pretty crazy. I'm probably just going to save the rest of my points until next week. So let's look at our stats as I well. can only look at the depth chart, and we are number two on the depth chart, even though I was told we're going to be the first stringer. So I don't know how that works, and I don't know who the heck this Cade Weldon guy is, because I know for a fact that it would be Malik Rozier, because this is the real roster, because Mark Walton is the running back, and these are all real people, but I don't know who that other quarterback is, so I am somewhat confused. Uh, hopefully we're going to start week one. Uh, I guess we can look into practice, or not practice, that's the wrong thing, into coach trust. So does it say we're the starter? No, it says we're the second string. I am very confused by that. It says we're from Oxnard, California, even though we're from Chino Hills. I don't get that. I'm probably going to do practice off camera, and let's get to the regular season. I was told I was going to start. What happened to that? So we ended up beating Florida Atlantic 38-28. to we're going to be playing Florida this week, and we have a position battle against our quarterback, Weldon, which we should easily win. This is easy peasy, and we should start this week against the Gators. All right, unshockingly, it looks like we should easily win the battle, as we're going to get it to Michael Irvin the second, Michael Irvin's son, so that should be pretty fun, as we will be starting next week, boys, or I guess this week. Everything you saw was recorded about three weeks ago. Now, this is, like, present day when I'm recording this part. So, sorry I haven't uploaded this series in a minute. Let's get to the game against the game. Here comes out Marcus Trump, the true freshman from Chino Hills, California, making his college debut. Trump scrambling his first ever pass will be caught. Johnson breaking tackles, and Jaquan Johnson gets 23 yards. Nice way to start off Trump's career. Mark Walton scored a touchdown to finish out the drive, and then Miami just had a free and out, and now they're back. Second down and 10, Marcus Trutt is alone in the backfield. As Trutt, he's going to look up the middle. It's Michael Irvin the second, the son of legendary Cowboys wide receiver Michael Irvin. A little under three minutes left here in the first quarter. Miami is up 7 to nothing. As Trutt, he's going to try to scramble. Trutt will run with it. Trutt is a first down on the ground. He gets 15 yards. Miami is 1 for 2 in the red zone, which is strange because we've only been in the red zone once, so... That should be one for one is Trutt. He will find Braxton Berrios, the slot receiver. For the touchdown, Marcus Trutt's first career passing touchdown. First of probably many. About a minute left here in the first quarter. Miami up 14 to nothing. Trutt has all the time in the world, but he still will be sacked for a loss of seven. He was getting a little too confident as it's to Daryl Slayton. Second down in 17. Marcus Trutt under center. No one in the backfield. Trutt. He's going to look down the field for a wide open target as Michael Jackson burned 
his defender, and he's going to moonwalk in the end zone for a touchdown. It's been a rough one for Florida's offense. They do have six first downs, which is the same amount that Miami has, but they have 21 less points. As Marcus Trutt. He's going to run with it. Trutt. He's going to get by a defender. Trutt. There he goes. Nice run of 20 yards. It is first down for Miami. About six and a half minutes left here in the first half. Trutt. It's going to be a curl route for Harley. And Mike Harley will gain 16 yards. Mark Walton scored his second touchdown of the game. But then Florida's offense finally scored some points. As number eight Florida is getting spanked right now by Miami. Trutt under a lot of pressure. He didn't see it coming, and he's going to be sacked for a loss of 7 by T.J. McCoy. 2 minutes and 40 seconds left until halftime. Marcus Trott on first down. Scrambling. He's going to look for Pollandy. Throw on the run. Pollandy gains 30 yards. Mark Walton got another touchdown. He now has 3. But then the Gators drove down the field, and they got a touchdown of their own. Florida's now only down by 21. And I emphasize the word only. Trott. He's going to get hit as he throws, but he still finds Braxton Berrios. 19 for 24, 343 yards, two touchdowns, not even at the end of the first half against a top 10 team. Hashtag Marcus Trutt's college football debut. As Trutt, he's going to look deep for Michael Irvin the second. And that'll be another touchdown for the Canes. Second down and 17 for the Canes as Marcus Trutt's going to look to pass it. Trutt. Under a lot of pressure, he's going to be sacked for a loss of 15 yards by Jordan Smith. Florida scored a touchdown, and now they're only down by 21 points. 5-16 left here in the third quarter. Trutt fakes the handoff off for Walton. Trutt scrambling. He finds Michael Irvin the second for 25 yards. Papa would be proud. I shouldn't say Papa would be proud. I should say Papa is proud since Michael Irvin the first isn't dead. Third down and six. Trutt, under a lot of pressure. Nice block. Trutt, looking deep down the field for an open target. But it's going to be intercepted by Henderson. It was bound to happen as Marcus Trutt with his first interception as a college quarterback. Florida scored another touchdown and the Gators could come back in this game as Jaquan Johnson breaks a tackle. He's going to get 20 yards. Miami's backup running back scored a touchdown. Then they missed the extra point. Then Florida scored a touchdown, and then both teams had three and outs. Here we are now, third down and five. Can the Hurricanes get the first down? Short pass for Jaquan Johnson, but he gets it still on his feet, gained 17 yards. Trutt now has, what, 470 yards? I predicted Trutt at 470 yards. He's from 471. My life in a nutshell, third down and 13. Trutt. He's going to look deep down the field. One-on-one -on -one coverage. And it's... How did he drop that? That should be a fumble, honestly. It was a 28-point game at halftime. And now it's just a 6-point game. But Miami still is more likely to win. But Burns on first down loses a yard on the screen. Hey, now Marcus Trutt's at 470 passing yards. I guess Marcus that. Trutt is alone in the backfield. As long as the Hurricanes can get a first down... This one is pretty much good, but Zuniga picks it off. Marcus Trutz for one who tackles him. Florida has a chance to win this football game. Well, it turns out Florida was unable to come back and win. The Hurricanes ended up winning 42-48. Here's a final look at Trutz's stats. He had a really good first half, then started struggling a little bit in the second half. But his team starts off 1-0, actually 2-0, technically. And they should be in the rankings after this week, most likely, after a, a big win against a top-10 team. Uh -huh. Yeah.